It's a friendship that started six years ago. We met at a camp called Camp Barnabas. That's a camp for kids and adults with special needs. Connor and Steve-O were volunteering at a half marathon when Steve-O said, I've always wanted to do a marathon. And I said, okay, let's do it. One marathon turned into dozens. Then another idea sparked, a 14,000 foot summit of San Luis Peak in Colorado. Yeah, Steve-O has cerebral palsy, a disorder that affects about one in 323 children in the U.S. It affects a person's ability to move, causing weakness or problems with the use of muscles. Throughout his life, Steve-O has dealt with the doubt of others. That doubt only motivating the duo to keep pushing the limits. And when you tell people that and they kind of tilt their head a little bit, oh man, that that just spikes so much excitement and adrenaline. Just say, just watch, like this is going to happen. In August, Connor and Steve-O packed their bags and were off to Colorado. The start of their summit, an eye-opener of what lay ahead. That first half mile was a wake up, are we going to do this, are we going to commit, and I'm going to either do this or I'm going to die. Carrying about 30 to 40 pounds of their gear and Steve-O in a special chair, they made their way up the first 13,000 feet. The final stretch, a steeper, more dangerous hike. And so I put Steve-O on in my back and we started taking one step at a time and um, making it up. The wide open skies and breathtaking scenery, a humbling moment for the two men as they reflected back on what it took to get there. I think we both cried. <laughs> we both cried. Yeah, yeah. We, there were, I wasn't going to tell him about the tears. But. Connor and Steve-O's friendship is unique. Connor referring to himself as the legs and Steve-O the heart. He, he's, yeah, he, Steve-O gives me courage. Two guys, one dream, out on a mission to prove that anything is possible with a little bit of help. There's so much we can do, but we can't do it alone. And we have to have somebody that's willing to call us out on, hey, you're dreaming too small, or you're doing, you can do much more than this. Even when it seems impossible, Steve-O will always try something once. He dreams beyond the chair and never gives up. Um, if there's one thing to take from their story, Steve-O said it best. If you have a dream, go for it, because life is too short not to dream big. Alejandra Briones, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>